Alrighty, what is up everybody? It is your boy Farai. Today we're gonna to be discussing EQ on rap vocals. So, you know, let's get into it. Uh, first, we'll just take a listen, we might as well, because you're probably interested to hear if you just stumbled across the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. But, you know, uh, this video is gonna be about EQing rap vocals and why an EQ is important. So let me play what I have and let's get into it. I was broke, now I'm flexed up Pull up in a forum whip, you can catch us We be running to the money, all we know Yeah, I had to chase a check, that's all I know In the foreign switching lanes, you can't catch me Mr. Zan with the lean, wake up next week She keep calling on my phone, she like text me I put ice on my neck, feel like Gretzky Alright, anyway, there you go, so what is an EQ, right? I think we need to, you know, I'm someone who likes to describe things in layman's terms. I'm not going to get all, all theoretical and all that with you. But basically, an EQ is or gives us the power to lower or boost the volume of any specific frequency that we can hear as people, right? So as you can see, let's let's make this big. Shout out FL Studio, you know, vector mode. Ooh, all right. Um, if you look at the top here, you know, this is a nice reference. We've got sub bass, you know. That is kind of below 50 hertz, you know, 60 hertz, wherever it needs to start. And then we've got our bass region, you know, lower mids, mids, high mids, whatever that means. And then our treble. All right. So, you know, we can graph all of this stuff, right? You know, after a while, you start to understand, okay, with rap vocals, we don't need this right here because this is subharmonic frequencies. You know, if you if you live in a, in a residential area with a lot of cars driving past, you know, the, 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 the cars are going to be in this range, you know what I mean? The That low bass sound, you know, so that's not really uh, musical, you know. So we, we tend to roll that off with, with, with rap vocals, you know what I mean? So I would never go past, and this is something never uh, people never taught me, but I have learned to never go past 120 hertz when um, high passing, all right? High passing means to allow the highs through and to get rid of the bass. So the, the bass is not allowed through, the highs are allowed through. Um, up to 120 hertz that's that would be ideal if you find yourself going you know all the way to 200 you can get away with that but for the most part i would definitely recommend maybe uh working on your your vocal sound so that your vocals aren't too bassy all right um so that's kind of what i do with the when i initially start to mix my vocals i'll, I'll kind of just mess around start around 60 hertz go all the way up to 120 hertz and then find a, a zone that you like you know what i mean for for this song i happen to like 100 hertz so the next thing you know which happens with with most vocals in general is there's always a proximity effect now proximity basically means the closer you get to the mic the more bass is going to be picked up so how to treat that is we're gonna just roll away around you know lower mids lower mids the bass region you know what i mean so let's mark there to there if you just check out my mouse as kind of areas that can be muddy now obviously everyone has a different kind of resonance to their voice so over time you're going to start to learn you know where your resonant kind of um area is you know so i would start around as i said uh, maybe 100 hertz you know what i like to do is i'm not boosting or cutting here right here what i like to do is just create a narrow cue all right so there you go you, you make it nice and narrow and then while you're listening to your song you can kind of just you know um you know scout for the frequency so let's listen again and then we'll, we'll do that so I was broke, now I'm flexed up Pull up in a foreign whip, you can catch us We be running to the money, all we know So as you can see right there, 303 was, was the region I didn't like Now, if I wanted to be surgical, right? Surgical means we just pull out that frequency You can do that, but personally it starts to sound robotic when you do that I don't like to do that, so I like to keep things analog um, in the analog domain, this is generally how an EQ cut would look. You know what I mean? If you're mixing on a console, that's kind of how the curve would look. You want to keep things as natural as possible. Um, so that's my advice on bass. You know what I mean? These two bands right here are treating the bass. You know, if you really have an another problem somewhere, you know, there's no problem with... Uh, let's just do this. Okay, no, my bad. That is a shelving EQ. Uh, there's no problem with, again, just, you know, dipping out you know 3 db at 150 or 130 or even boosting a tiny bit you know that's fine but you know if you if you find your whole mix having you know 50 of these notches you know it's time to kind of work on that vocal sound um, otherwise you know what i mean it just starts to sound less human in my opinion so yeah keeping it simple um if you feel the need to boost a bit of the um kind of give your vocal a bit of a smack to it you can kind of boost this area right here you know what i mean if it's sounding a bit too nasal you can dip around this area just a little bit you know with the narrow kind of cue boom something like that just a little bit you know what i mean um, 
but for the most part i didn't really need this you know this is all mic placement you know if you, if you nail this area you won't have to adjust it too much when recording um, or when mixing after recording generally this area to me around higher mid so let's just say from 2k all the way up to 10k is your region that's going to become really harsh you know what i mean so let's boost this while we listen to our song put into the money all we know yeah i had a chase to check us all i know in the forest switching lanes you can't catch me mr zan with the lean wake up next week she keep calling on my phone she like text me Wow, that does sound nice. But I guess it's because I've been mixing all day, so I'm not gonna boost too much. But as you can hear right here, this is where things get harsh, but it, it takes me quite a bit to, to make it harsh, you know what I mean? Because we're recording the vocal right. Uh, you see, it's a recurring thing. If you record the vocal right, you're not gonna be doing too much work, but you know, the little fundamentals we do are gonna help so much. Now, one thing you can do with your, your, your rap vocals and you know, to give your vocal a bit of shine is just give it a little bit of a boost. Now, as you can see, let me just see how much I'm boosting top left corner. Um, I'm doing about 0.7 dB of a boost, you know what I mean? And then I'm boosting again after all the effects or before the effects. I don't know where this EQ kicks in, but you know, slight boosts, you know what I mean? Just to, to emphasize the vocal a little bit. Now, if I bypass this. Into the money, all we know. Yeah, I had a chase to check us all I know. Listen again, it's a bit boxy, not really defined. Into the money, all we know. Yeah, I had a chase to check us all I know. In the f there we go, you know what I mean? All those little adjustments are just making our EQ now. Your boy did that, make his own EQ, all right? So, uh, you know, I can't really show you where all these bands are, but you know, the concept stays the same. You can pull up your standard EQ, bass, you know, we treat our bass, cut the mud, you know, de-harsh, boost the air, boom, same thing, you know? But this just to me, I've started using this and I like it because now I'm actually using my ear more than I'm looking, you know what I mean? I'm not looking at the bass. I'm not looking at the treble, I'm just listening, you know what I mean? So if I turn this off, into the money, all we know. Yeah, I had a chase to check us all I know. You know what I mean? The combination of those two is taking a vocal from overly bassy, just sounding kind of bedroomy, to into the money, all we know. To a bit more softer, you know what I mean? So hope this video helps. I don't want to keep it too long. Um, as you can see, I've done little subtle boosts and cuts again. Um, but the concept stays the same. If you if you work your vocals like this and you record well, you'll have great vocals and you can press right, you know you'll get great results so shout out to everyone you know that subscribes and tunes in every week if you um want me to do a video on compression boom i can do that for you you know what i mean just you know um give me you know some some info in the description i mean in the comment section and all that and we'll get to it so yeah it is your boy fry i hope you learned something check you out next time peace